This event again presses home the fact that water is life. Its absence or access is like a matter of life and death. The search for clean water continues in Nigeria like in many parts of the world. Not for want of raw water, but because efforts of government at all levels have not complemented one another enough to ensure access to water and good sanitation for all. To address this situation, Vice President Yemi Oshimbaju urges all relevant stakeholders to think outside the box for solutions, noting that the sector remains the primary hub for policies and actions. On its part, the federal government will take the outcome of the retreat with all seriousness for the realization of our collective desire to see that every Nigerian has access to affordable water and adequate sanitation in a sustainable manner. There are national and international targets to meet on water and sanitation as several policies initiated to actualize the goals. However, Minister of Water Resources Suleiman Adamu pointed out that the state and local governments need to do more in complementing efforts of the federal government. There is therefore the need for a serious review of the policy with a view to fashioning out a better model that would enhance more collaborative efforts of all the three tiers of government as well as promote private sector participation and access to other sources of funding urban water supply and sanitation. Collectively, we must make water a clearer priority. As a state, we need to have substantial provision in the budget every year to attend to water. I think it's been too long that we've been lethargic on this issue. I think the water sector has been neglected for rather too long. The vice president also launched the water supply, sanitation and hygiene, wash poverty diagnostic report, an overview of the state of the sector. In Abuja, Muspel and Wahab, NT News.